friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another WW meal prep. It is Sunday, I am a meal prepping machine today, so I apologize in advance for my looks today. I am in my pajamas literally with no makeup and I just didn't film an intro when I was put together yesterday. So this is what you're gonna get for today's meal prep intro. So today I have three absolutely delicious recipes for you. I have a breakfast casserole that is to die for, a pesto, yes pesto, lunch recipe, and a delicious wholesome oat jam delicious bar recipe for you as a snack. So I'm so excited to bring you these three recipes. So if you want to see what I made this week for my meal prep on WW, stay tuned. <music> breakfast this week I'm going to be making a hash brown broccoli sausage and egg casserole I'm so excited about this I've been wanting to add a little more veggies to my breakfast so this recipe is going to do the trick so let me show you what is in this week's breakfast first you're going to need some shredded hash browns I'm gonna be using the Jimmy Dean fully cooked turkey sausage crumbles you can use whatever sausage that you prefer this is really low point and delicious so you guys know I use this all the time in breakfast recipes recipes. Also some fat free half and half, broccoli, you can do fresh or frozen, eggs, an onion, light butter, both fat free cheese and light shredded cheese, and lastly some salt and pepper. So let's get started on this week's breakfast. So the first thing we need to do for our breakfast casserole is spray a pan with some nonstick cooking spray. To that pan, we're gonna go ahead and add a chopped onion. I went ahead and chopped up my onion. And then you're also going to add your sausage. Whether it's the fully cooked sausage or uncooked sausage, you're gonna go ahead and add that as well to the pan. And we're gonna let this cook down until our onions are cooked through. After the onions are cooked through and translucent, we're gonna go ahead and add in our cheese. So what I have here is one cup of fat-free cheese and one half of a cup of light cheese. So we're going to add that. And then I went ahead and just steamed my broccoli really quick in my microwave. It's not even all the way warmed through. It's just no longer frozen. Now, if you're using fresh, you just wanna cook that as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and stir this all together. And then lastly, we're gonna add in our four cups of shredded hash browns, mix that together, and then we're ready to put together the egg mixture. So we're ready to put together our egg mixture. So I've cracked six eggs here in my bowl. To that, I'm going to add one half of a cup of my fat-free half and half. And then I'm also going to add some salt and pepper. And again, just do it to your liking. I'm just gonna go ahead and put in a good size pinch of both. And then we're gonna take our whisk here and just whisk this together. And this is going to be the egg mixture that we're going to pour over our casserole. So I'm gonna let me grab out a casserole dish and we'll get this put together and get this into the oven. So I went ahead and grabbed out a nine by 13 casserole dish. I'm gonna go ahead and spray that with some nonstick cooking spray. Make sure you get it sprayed really, really well so none of your casserole and your eggs and things stick to your dish. Once you have that sprayed, we're gonna go ahead and add one half of our hash brown sausage, broccoli, cheesy deliciousness to the bottom of our casserole dish. And we're gonna go ahead and spread that out nice and evenly over the bottom of our dish. So just get that nice even layer on the bottom. And then to that, we're also going to add half of that egg mixture over the top. So we've got our mixed together eggs. You want about half of that over the top and then reserve the other half because we're gonna repeat the process. We're gonna make a second layer here of our casserole. Do the same thing where we're gonna go ahead and add the other half of our casserole mixture and then add the other half of our eggs. casserole in the oven look at this you guys yum this is going at 375 uncovered for about 45 minutes or until our eggs are cooked all the way through I just pulled the breakfast casserole out of the oven look at how delicious this looks so I'm gonna let this set just for a couple of minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and cut it up 
package it up with some fruit for breakfast and I'll be back to show you my completed breakfast and give you the smart points. So here are my breakfast for the week. I went ahead and just put the casserole in a bowl because I'm actually having a banana as my fruit with breakfast. So this is my meal prepped hash brown broccoli sausage and egg breakfast casserole. I went ahead and cut it into eight equal servings. And you guys, this is a lot because you have your hash browns, your sausage, lots of cheese, broccoli. So you're getting in that little dose of veggies in the morning. So the smart points for the breakfast casserole cut into eight equal servings is four smart points on the purple plan, six on the blue, and eight on the green. And then I'm just gonna pair mine with a banana for zero. So depending on the plan that you're on, if this is a four, six, or eight smart point breakfast. And this looks so good. For lunch this week, I'm going to be making a pesto chicken salad sandwich. I am so excited about this. I love pesto. I'm literally so excited about this. So let me show you what is in our chicken salad that we're gonna add to a hoagie roll. So these are the hoagie rolls that I'm using. This is the Private Selection Italian Herb and Garlic. Now this is a Fred Meyer brand or a Kroger brand, but these were the lowest smart point hoagie rolls that I could find. They are five smart points a piece. Now you can put these on a bun or even between two slices of bread, whatever your preference is for the sandwich portion. But I'm gonna go ahead and use these Italian Herb and Garlic rolls. I think they're going to pair really nicely with the pesto and then in the chicken salad or for the chicken salad you'll need some non-fat greek yogurt spinach roasted red peppers and i just buy mine in water so they're zero points basil pesto lemon juice and then some chicken breast so let's get started on this week's lunch so the first thing we need to do is cook our breasts of chicken so i have three breasts here i'm just going to pop them in the oven at 375 until they're cooked through i am going to season them with a little salt and pepper and then once they've cooled we'll go ahead and shred those down and while they're in the oven let's put together the sauce for our pesto chicken salad I just went ahead and pulled out the chicken. It is done. So I'm gonna let it cool for just a couple of minutes, shred it up, and then we're gonna put together the entire chicken salad. So I went ahead and got my chicken all shredded, put it in a bowl here, and we're gonna make up the chicken salad. So what I have here is the recipe makes three servings. I went ahead and one and a half times the recipe, and I'm gonna call it five servings. It's really four and a half, but it's close enough. So what I have here is about the recipe calls for a quarter cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. So this is a quarter cup plus another eighth of a cup. So I, what is that? Pretty close to a half a cup, just shy of half a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. So we're going to go ahead and add in that. And then the recipe wants two teaspoons of lemon juice. So I have three here. And I have three tablespoons of pesto. And this is just the garlic or the basil pesto. You can use any brand. This is the Barilla brand. And then for roasted red peppers, I went ahead and chopped these up a little bit. So this is about three quarters of a cup of the roasted red peppers. And then we're just gonna mix this all together. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. I seriously love pesto. I love it. It's so delicious. And it is high in points, but when you mix it in with the non-fat Greek yogurt, you can use less pesto but still have all of the flavors so that's what's great about this recipe is you still have pesto coming out your ears but you're mixing it with the yogurt which is really low point or zero point and that's really making the chicken salad much creamier but you're still not missing that pesto flavor and then those roasted red peppers just really really elevate the flavor so mix that all together look at that how yum so this is enough for five servings i am going to go ahead and divide this into my meal prep container and i'm going to show you how i'm going to put together my chicken salad pesto sandwiches to put together my meal prep i'm going to go ahead and use my container that has a large side and a small side i do have these containers linked in my amazon store i'm going to put one fifth of the chicken and pesto in the large side and then i'm going to fill the small side here with some baby spinach and then i have my hoagie rolls here i'm just going to leave these in the package and i'll just grab a hoagie roll each day and put my sandwich into the roll so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and fill our compartments with the chicken salad and the spinach So when I go to assemble
assemble my lunch. I have spinach and my chicken salad. I'm gonna take one of my hoagie rolls, open it up, and in the middle, I'm gonna place the spinach, and then we're gonna put the chicken salad on top, fold it up, and we have a delicious chicken salad sandwich with pesto, and we're getting in some extra good quality greens with the spinach, and we're even indulging in a fun, delicious hoagie roll. So I'm gonna get these all packaged up. I'll be back to show you exactly what I'm having for lunch and give you the smart points. All right, so here is my lunches for the week. So of course I'm going to have one serving of my pesto chicken salad. That is going to be two smart points on both the purple and blue plan. And that is without whatever bread or roll you choose. And it is four smart points on the green plan. Of course, the spinach is zero. And then my rolls are five smart points a piece. So if you use a five smart point hoagie roll and one serving of the pesto chicken salad, it is seven smart points on blue, seven smart points on purple, and nine smart points on green so that's just kind of a rough idea if you chose a five smart point roll so that's what I'm gonna be having for lunch along with one of my Choco Ripe peanut butter cups. These are the 35 calorie a piece. And you guys, these are a Reese's peanut butter cup and they are one smart point a piece or two points for the entire package. I do buy these off of the Protein Wise website. They no longer have the 35 calorie on net nutrition, but there is a link down below for Protein Wise and even better bonus, you get $10 off of your first order. So you can actually shop around and get $10 worth of free product. So I'm gonna have one package of these for two smart points. And then I bought some Honeycrisp apples. I'm very excited about them. So depending on the color that you follow, I'm on the green plan. So my lunch is going to be nine smart points plus two smart points for the peanut butter cup. So this is an 11 smart point lunch on green or a nine smart point lunch on both blue and purple with the peanut butter cup. For a snack this week, we're going to be making homemade jam bars. Not only are our bars homemade, but our jam is as well. And you guys, these are such low smart point. And this jam recipe is zero smart point. So this is something that you can make and store in your refrigerator or freezer and use it on your toast or PB&J. So I'm excited to show you guys this recipe. So let's jump in to what is in both the jam and the jam bars. You're going to need some old fashioned rolled oats brown sugar alternative of your choice, flour, cooking spray, unsweetened applesauce, salt, light butter, cornstarch, baking soda, an egg, and then some frozen fruit of your choice. I'm doing this Simple Truth Organic Berry Medley, which is basically raspberries, blackberries, and strawberries. And then you're also going to need a little bit of water. So let's get started on these jam bars. So first we're gonna make our jam. So in my pan here, I have my entire 10 ounce bag of frozen fruit, two tablespoons of water, and then I have made in a little bowl here with one tablespoon of cornstarch, basically a roux, which is going to help thicken up our jam. So we're gonna go ahead and add that, and then we're gonna let this come to a boil, and then we're gonna turn it down to simmer and let it simmer for about 10 minutes until it is nice and thick like jam. Once your jam is cooked down, I'm gonna go ahead and add mine here to my magic bullet. You can use an immersion blender, a regular blender, whatever your preference is. And I'm basically just gonna go ahead and blend it up until it is smooth. You can even leave it chunky if that's what you prefer. All right, there's our jam. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this in the refrigerator. It's nice and thick, and just so you know, it does thicken as well as it cools. So I'm gonna throw this in the refrigerator and we'll get started on our bars. So to get started on our bars, you're gonna need a good size bowl. We're gonna go ahead and add in our oats. I have one and a quarter cup of rolled oats. We're also going to add one cup of flour. Two thirds cup of our brown sugar alternative. Mine is the Sucrin. You can purchase Sucrin on Nettrition's website. It is linked down below. I love Nettrition, love, love, love it. And Sucrin is one of the best brown sugar alternatives in my opinion. And then we also have some baking soda here and we're gonna go ahead and add half of a teaspoon of baking soda. 
And then we also want a quarter teaspoon of salt. So I'm just gonna kind of fill that about half full. And then we're gonna give this a good mix and that is going to combine all of those dry ingredients before we add our wet ingredients. We're ready to add our wet ingredients. So I have one quarter cup of my unsweetened applesauce. We're also going to add in our melted butter. So this is two tablespoons of, I can't believe it's not butter light, and then one egg. So go ahead and add all of that. Give this a good mix. You wanna make sure that dry ingredients get nice and combine with our wet ingredients. And then we're ready to get this into our pan and get these oat bars into the oven our bars we're gonna go ahead and grab out an eight inch baking dish we're gonna go ahead and spray that really well with some nonstick cooking spray we don't want anything to stick to that then our oat mixture here we're gonna go ahead and add about half of it to the bottom of our pan and that's going to create a crust for our bars so go ahead and add about half of your oat mixture now you can use wax paper or just get your hands wet and we're just gonna press this down and make a crust we're going to add some of our homemade jam and we want about one and a half cups so i'm actually going to go ahead and add all of my jam it's pretty close to about one and a half cups and I figured the more jam in these bars, the better. And if this jam is, of course, zero points. So we're going to go ahead and add it. And I did want to tell you one thing about the jam is it is not very sweet because we did not add any sweetener to it. So the only sweetness that we're getting out of this jam is what's naturally occurring in the fruit. So if you are going to have this as a jam on, say, toast or PB&J, I would recommend adding some sugar alternative of some sort, like monk fruit or something to it, to get it a little bit sweeter. So just my opinion but it does taste really good but it just definitely is more fruity than sweet so we're gonna go ahead and add our jam and then we have the rest of our oat mixture here and what we're gonna do from here is we're just going to drop little balls of our oat mixture on top of our bars here and that's going to create this really yummy kind of crumb coating so we're gonna use the rest of what's in our pan here and we're just gonna drop it on top of the jam and here are the bars. So what I did is went ahead and added the topping and then I just took my finger and kind of just pressed it down into the jam. We're gonna pop this in a 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until they're cooked through. And then we're gonna cut these into triangles and make beautiful, delicious oat bars with jam filling. Look at these jam bars. My house smells so delicious. I just pulled these out of the oven. These are going to need to cool for a little bit before we slice these into serving sizes, but I cannot wait. And you guys, the smart points on these are amazing. So let's let these cool a bit. We'll slice these up and I'll be back to show you our jam bars and give you the smart points. So our bars have cooled. I've went ahead and sliced them into 12 pieces. I decided just to do squares. Now you can take the square and then cut it diagonally if you want and make a triangle, but I decided just to do squares and look at this, you guys. Yum, all of that jam goodness between the oats. What a hearty, delicious snack, but also kind of a treat because it is a little sweet from the brown sugar that we used in the oats. But oh my gosh, you guys, these look incredible. When you cut your bars into 12 servings, they are one smart point on the purple plan. That's it, you guys, one point. And they are two on both the green and the blue plan. So you can't beat it. What a yummy, delicious snack for one or two smart points. So here are my snacks for the week. So as always, between breakfast and lunch, I will go ahead and have a built Bar. This is the one thing that keeps me full and satisfied. It gives me a good boost of protein, fat, and fiber, so I stay nice and full until I have lunch. So this is a protein bar that literally tastes like a candy bar. It comes in dozens of flavors. They're absolutely delicious. Most of the built Bars are three smart points. This black cherry chocolate cream. This one, you guys, tastes like chocolate-covered cherries, and it is three points. Now, any of your built Bars that have nuts in them, so like the peanut butter that one is four smart points so just be aware most built bars are three the peanut butter is four but you can pretty much bet on a three smart point bar you can pick these up on the built bar website my code here on the screen will give you 10 percent off and free shipping and there's a link down below that if you just click the link it'll automatically give you the discount and the free shipping so i have one of these every day so five days a week as my morning snack 
Definitely pick up Bill Bar must have on a WW journey. Also, I'm going to be having some of my Quaker rice cakes. You guys saw me pick these up at Costco. These are great. They range from three to four smart points a bag. It's nice to have as a quick snack. If you're on the go, you can just throw it in your purse and it's a good, delicious, crunchy snack. And also, I've been loving this Hope Hummus and Kale and Pesto, you guys. This hummus is so delicious. So I like to have two tablespoons of this for two points. And then I've really been loving these little salad cucumbers. I got these at Walmart. And they are these cute little mini cucumbers. And I just cut them into rounds and dip them in the hummus. So it's a two smart point snack for the cucumbers and the hummus. So this is what I'm going to be having for snacks for the upcoming week. Thank you for joining me on this week's WW Meal Prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes, you guys. Every single one of them is absolutely to die for. Those jam bars are amazing for the smart points and I love pesto so that's always a win-win for me as well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'd love to have you stick around. Make sure you're subscribed and you've hit that little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I upload most days of the week and we do meal prep every Monday so you don't want to miss out. Make sure you're checking out the description box below for all of today's recipes and links to my favorite things, the Built Bar, the Sucre and Gold to Protein Wise, and all of the things are down in the description box, as well as my Facebook group. If you're not part of my group, we'd love to have you join us. We're 14,000 supportive, wonderful member strong. So head on over and join us there as well. There is a direct link down in the description box. Just click the link and join the group. So super, super easy. And of course, thumbs up this video if you love meal prep. And down below in the comments, leave your favorite recipe that I shared with you today. And if you made it through this entire video, this entire video, leave the heart emoji with the color of plan that you're following blue, green, or purple. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. What's it like?